So I'm a right-handed golfer, and let me show you what a good setup looks like with the grip and what the arms are doing. So sometimes people get in to the ball, and if I turn this way, they got their right elbow locked out like this. We want the right elbow into our side and like this at a dress, and I simply just roll my right hand over. So that's a little bit, it looks like this from behind. This would be what not to do and sometimes what a lot of people do. That gets you disconnected and you can't really ever get the club on the proper swing, swing plane. So again, I turn my right elbow to face my body, turn my hand back over. And as I swing, the purpose of that, it folds and this right elbow is gonna work around me and I'm getting that club right on a good plane. And then coming down, I'm in a good position too. So on this angle, if I had my hands straight out, I'm gonna put them down, right elbow bends, hand comes around, and this is just a very straight arm, neutral position. And I'm right there creating a good plane already with this right elbow. Hogan used to talk about the right elbow and the magic of it. That's what he meant. Um, it's very subtle. Some people can't tell the difference between that and what would be correct in this. But if you do that and start swinging, you'll really get that club on plane and you'll be very stable on your backswing. There will not be disconnected arms and things. You're just gonna be riding the club right up the plane and letting it fall right down onto plane to hit the ball. Give that shut up a, a shot and comment below. Let me know how you like it.